if you want to know what i pack in my content bag to do a content shoot day keep watching What's up, Sub? You know you love me and you can't get enough of me. Wait, it's your favorite girl, Marie. Y'all already know I'm back, dropping that heat. So, before we get into what's in my bag, what's in my content bag, how I do content shoot days, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe, follow me on all social media, and don't forget to ring the bell one time for the one time. If you're new to my channel, welcome to It's Marie, where we do all things plus size. If it's not the heavy way, there is no other way. Cause this, you're not winning. <laughs> Tell my city. If you were OG, welcome back to my channel. Y'all know how we get down. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the mood. Let's get into it. So, as y'all already know, if you follow my Instagram, I'm a brand ambassador, and I went and did a in-store shoot day, which was my first time doing a. It was my first time doing content like that, which was super super fun. I got sponsored to buy the clothes, sponsored to make the content. So this was the bag that I had. Um, and my pictures, I was wearing like red and white. This bag that I had, it says Hello Weekend. I got it from, um, where did I get this from? Somebody sent it to me, I don't know. Somebody sent it to me. I'll have the link in the description box down below. But this is the bag that I brought. It says Hello Weekend. It's just pretty much like a open bag. Um, no zippers in here, just a bag. So, I wanted to, a lot of you guys were asking me, how did you do your content? How did it work? What did you do? I wanted to let you guys know a little bit about that and then also what I pack in my content bags. Um, so leaving the house to make content, meaning that I needed to pack up my production, my team, which is me, because I'm the party of one. <laughs> well, plus bag when he helps. So I had to make sure that everything will fit into this bag only because I didn't want to have to be holding stuff, trying to get content. It just would have looked like a lot was going on and I was a one man shot. Never want that. So, let's just go ahead and get into the goodies, the bag. So, my bag, y'all. I had to put my lashes and stuff on before I made this video. So, let me turn this off. All right. So, let's get into the contents of the bag. Okay. So, the first thing that I had in here was my camera bag, which, of course, I'm using the camera to record. So, it's not in here. Um, and I brought this bag because like I told you, there's no zippers in this. So I didn't want my batteries and stuff hard to find. So the camera was in here. Just stuff that I keep in here, just in case I need. Extra battery charger. Um, I don't even know where this gadget is anymore. I had a lot of shit. But yeah, so, and batteries were in here as well, but they're all charging now. So my camera bag was in here. Okay. Of course, you can never go out without a portable fan. In Atlanta, it be hot. You need your little air too, so you don't sweat out your, your lace, your lashes, your edges. Touch it up real quick. If I have makeup, you know, it comes in three different speeds. Got to have my fan. And it's my favorite color, purple. Lip gloss, just in case. I cannot get a hold of my Vaseline. Lip gloss will always do the just. Lipstick, which I want to say this is from yesterday because I wasn't wearing purple when I went. So lipsticks, white stick, just in case I need to lay down some flyaways, fix a little edge. Foundation, just in case something happens, something bites me in my face, I need to fix up my lace a little bit. You just never know. I like to prepare for the worst. Lay me down from bright hair this is um like oh uh, what's the stuff that i be using this is like got to be it's like spritz to help if your lace starts to lift this is foam so to swoop down my edges but sweat too much and my edges get to looking crazy wallets money always important id things of that why is this open um, edge control, another tripod. This is more like a handle to hold it. This is what's supposed to be on it. So if I wanted to vlog with my phone, 
So just set this up like this and then hold it. What's up, y'all? Gang, gang, whole lot of gang shit. <laughs> just a clue of all the gang on. But yeah, so definitely a must have to hurry up and just vlog real quick or grab some, some shots of things that you don't like per se you want to get in the vlog. Or gel because my teeth are terrible. And I have like every tooth in my mouth is cracked. I swear to God. Sometimes it's hard to eat. Another um, phone case holder. This one goes to the one in the car. Just in case I want to connect it to the car and get some like car footage or in the car talking to you guys. Y'all, when I tell you I be packed, I be packed. Backup phone just in case the other phone about to die because that phone is always going. This phone, I keep it on airplane mode so I get no notifications. Come on, light. Come on, light. I get no notifications and I literally only use this to make and record content. Or if I need to edit a thumbnail, backup phones are always good to have. Make sure you got your two sets. I live stream on this phone, keep my other phone. It just works. Keys, can't go anywhere. Cannot go anywhere without the keys. Like, but let's get into it, because my keys are cute. Every time I set them down somewhere, they be like, who keys? Mine. <laughs> It's the content, it's the details, it's the details. So I wore this on the actual content day. It's an ear cuff, you just cuff it on your ear and it makes it so cute, it's so cute. I don't think I can do it now though. Cause I got these earrings in. And you just cuff it. It just sits right on the ear. And put the hair back. See, it's a cute little cuff. Cute little cuff, but when you wear earrings, it kind of like comes off a little bit. Vaseline. Y'all, this is always a go-to. Go-to with cocoa butter. It moisturizes the lips and always keep them looking right. Always. My roll-on, oh, I need to get some more. My roll-on fragrance, this is Versace. Bright Crystal. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love the smell of this. Y'all see it's on the phone. You gotta keep that with me just in case you start sweating in them areas. You don't want everybody to know you're sweating in. This is to do my ombre look. This is actually the look, the, the look that I had when I went out to make the content. So I definitely needed that to hurry up from drinking juice or whatever. Foundation brush to fix my lace like I told before or to, you know, just grab some little spots if they look a little uneven. Um, here go one of the batteries that was supposed to be in there. But an extra battery. And last but not least, my AirPods. What was the other one? My AirPods. My AirPods, my AirPods, my AirPods. Cannot go anywhere without them, okay? Without them. So, this is what's in my content bag. Um, the things that I wasn't able to show you though was my tripod for the camera. The camera. Um. Yeah, and that is actually it. Sometimes I have a bottle of water in here, depending on like if we're outside making content or whatever. Um, always keep you an edge brush comb. I had just used it so that wasn't in there. And then always a wig brush. You never know when you gotta touch some things up. Okay? All right, so I hope you guys get a better understanding of what to pack in your content bag what things you need, what things, what things you would need, what things you wouldn't need. I hope this video was very informative. Whoa, all right. I hope this video was very informative. And yeah, this was what was inside my content bag the day that I went and made in store content. Stay tuned because that content will be dropping soon, hopefully sometime this week. Waiting to hear back and you'll be okay from everything. But yeah, so I love you, Sylvie, and don't forget, don't forget to wear your sh wear your curves with pride because if you don't wear them, who the fuck will? Until next time, until next time, Sylvie. Play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it.